welcome to Inside Line, and I swear I was in complete control, guys. Pretty hectic run of yours truly, if I do say so myself, on North Carolina's steepest state-maintained road. Go check it out on the S1 Helmets page. Dylan Hepworth is obviously on some wizard shit again, doing backsides through a kink. Um, we're not even sure if this is okay, but I guess he's not doing runs with a butterfly knife anymore, so we're going to count it. We reluctantly have to welcome homie Jake Hewitt. The team broke off. He bricked himself as soldiers a couple weekends ago in the chicane of all places. And uh, is going through the healing process right now. Heal up, Jake. Hope you feel better soon, bud. But in case you didn't see it, here's the clip. Go show the homies some love. Everybody's been on Team Broke Off before. There's a couple links below where you can check out some content that we have with Jake from the past. Lanios drops their 2019 event recap video featuring a lot of events from the past year. Go check it out over on their Facebook page. Shout out to Dex and Matt and Max for sending it and uh, just keeping it interesting. Keep killing it, boys. And this is just your weekly reminder that putting kills. It's good to see people are still breaking themselves for no reason at all. Shout out to Emily Williams for winning the Broadway Bomb, a super historic event that takes place in New York City every year. I've had my own collection of bad experiences pushing, including the South Beach Bomb back in like 2013, where I like you know almost died fucking for too many times. So in a push race. In a push race of all things, but that's the shit we like to see. Okay, so fellas, if you're thinking about getting in a race with a girl named Emily this year, you should maybe reconsider that shit. Halloween at the Knob is going down this Sunday in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Come check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. All the pastry boys will be there signing autographs and kicking ass, okay? So if you want to come lose in a race to me, fastest guy in North Carolina and probably Virginia. Change my mind. Come pull up. It's going to be a lot of fun. This week's weekly throwback video is Ethan Koshar getting extremely vicious. What an egregious title, but a crazy good video. DK Penguin is really cool board. Better than Tantian. Let's be honest. Let's have the conversation. If you weren't around when this video dropped, then you're bummed. But if you were, and you weren't outside busting your ass, trying to get these tricks like Ethan, then were you really there? Shout out to Ethan for blazing a path and showing us all that skating in the rain is possible. But I'm damn sure not going to do it. <laughs> the Homie Skate drops a new video of the homie Clayton Arthur sending it in his local territory. This guy shreds on a tiny setup nonetheless. Letting everybody know that it can be done in style and it will be done. You guys, stop being lazy. It's, it's doable. Venom drops their podcast, and we're here for it. It's a little long, but it's definitely worth a listen. Zach interviews Roger Hickey, who's been a downhill legend since the 70s, and he's got the stories to match. So go check it out on the Venom Skate website. Ed Garner, Mr. 6040 Spliff himself, drops this crazy run over on the Pile Peralta downhill page, dicing up one of the Boone classics. It's something you're going to want to see, so go give it a look-see. Go give it a look, see. Who the fuck? Oh my fucking Ferg Baccarat. Uh, uh. And that's it for another episode of Inside Line. Have a good one. We will see you at the bottom.